Hey everybody, it's Vic from Vic's Creative Corner. So today we are going to talk about setting up and controlling your audio mixer in OBS today using your Stream Deck. Let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna need to do is in the Stream Deck software, which I am running 5.3, we're gonna look for an OBS and then tools. This is made by Bar Reader. So you wanna make sure to install it. And then we're gonna come to Elgato's baked in OBS Studio plugin. And we're going to look for audio mixer. From here, we're going to select all of our audio sources. This includes your capture card if you want to set up your capture card. In my case, I'm looking for my microphone. And I am going to actually set this up for each device that I use. The next one is going to be voice mod because I do use two different microphones and one is to change voices. It's very rarely used, but it's there. The next one that I have is going to be my browser from Wavelink. And I do split my audio. I like it that way so that way I can actually run music and not have it saved to my Twitch VOD. All right, so this one should be game. This one should be music. This one is going to be next in line, which is our sound effects and our system and my voice chat for my Discord, my chat parties. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to want to control the sliders in OBS. And to control these without having to move it directly with your mouse every time, in case you know one of your viewers says, hey, you know what, the game is too loud, you can actually adjust that in OBS. And I'm gonna show you how. So uh, first things first, I'm gonna have to reset something and then reconfigure a password. But we're gonna go to where it says, source, volume, adjust. So again, source, volume, adjust. I already have mine set up, but in case you wanna see how the setup process is, we're gonna actually talk about that. So OBS is going to, the tools by Bar Raider, is going to suggest that you come here to the OBS WebSocket to get this particular version of the plugin. If you do anything newer than 4.9 point whatever, it will not work. So five and on does not work. But well, we can click on the link directly from the plugin and it's gonna take us down here. We're gonna go ahead and scroll to where it says OBS WebSockets 4.9.1 Windows Zip. Now you can run the EXE if you are running the 32-bit version of OBS and it'll automatically install for you. But if you're like me and you run it in 64-bit, this is the best way to go about it. So you're gonna come here, you're gonna go to OBS Plugins, you're gonna to go to your 64-bit and you're gonna copy these two, right? We're gonna copy the files or extract them. And then you're gonna to come to your file explorer. You're gonna go down to your C drive. You're gonna to go to program files 86 and you're gonna look for your OBS-Studio folder. Click on OBS plugin, 64-bit, and then you're gonna paste them in here. I've already done this, so I really don't need to paste them again. They're already here for me. But this is how you would install those plugins. Now that that's set up, I have to link the software. In order to do that, it's gonna ask me for a password. It is recommended to have a password. So in your OBS Studio, you are gonna to go to Tools at the very top where it says File, Edit, View, Docs, Profile, Scene Selection, Tools, and Help. You're going to go to tools and it's going to say OBS WebSocket compact.settings.dialog title. You are going to pop this open and put your password in here. I already have a password set up and I'm going to move this to the other screen so I can type in that password real quick. Actually, you know what? I'll do a brand new one. Hold on. <laughs> Give me just a second. Once you click on save, it's going to actually show you this. Your plugin is configured. So now we should be able to see the volume, the source name. So in this case, this is gonna be for my microphone because it won't work unless you set up the configuration. So I'm gonna put here my Elgato Wave XLR. And me, I like to do it in increments by one when it comes to OBS because we're talking about a decibel system. So I'm gonna keep the plus on top and I'm gonna keep the negative on the bottom. So this is gonna be plus one and this is gonna be negative one. Now I'm gonna do this for each 
and every device that I have. And how do I know what's what is because I put it in that order. And we can label it, but I'm going to show you how here in a minute. So this one is my voice mod microphone, right? So I need to come down to voice mod. And there's a reason why I did it in this order with a whole bunch of copying and pasting is it was faster this way. All right, so here's our voice mod one. This one is going to be our first Wavelink input. So this is going to be the browser. So same thing. You just come and select which audio source is what. Oh, I guess I'm doing that too fast. <laughs> Here we go. And the next one is going to be our next input, which is our game. So we're going to select Wavelink Game. It's a rinse and repeat process for each item. So you want to make sure that if you're not sure what's what, and I have mine stacked on top of each other. So here's our Wavelink music. We're going to set up the music one right here. Now this is to control OBS audio mixer. This is not to control Wavelink. We've already set up Wavelink, so we're not going to worry about the routing on this. All right, this one's music. And as you can see, it's matching each item you select. So this one is our sound effects. Now, if you want to give it some pretty icons, you can. We're going to do that. Let's make sure our sound effects. And I'm going to show you how it works here in a minute. This one should be our system. Now, why do I have system routing through? There are some games that are system hardwired that don't route over to game. But on top of that, my alerts for OBS come through the system, which is why I have it as a separate audio source. Um, there is a way to do it to where you can just have it directly from the browser widget. But uh, I, I personally like it just coming through my system. So this one is my Discord, my voice chat. So we're going to select Wavelink voice chat for these right here. All right, so now we want to make them look pretty, right? And I have a particular area that I store all of my source files and stuff that I've purchased over time. And I really love this Nerd or Die Clarity set. I used to have the RGB one. I don't do that one anymore. Okay, here's the microphone off. You're seeing me set up these icons real time so that way you see how it works. All right. And we're going to be doing the same thing with this one, except this one isn't going to have an on and off thing. This is going to have a plus and minus one. And the reason why is we want to know when we're turning the volume up and we're turning the volume down. And I am going to give you a preview of that in just a second. So right now I'm just going to do it with the microphone. And you can see how the slider is moving. And what I'm going to do is actually see if I can show you all with my camera, me pushing the buttons. All right, y'all. So I got it working right to where Epic Cam, and that's exactly what we're going to be using, um, is going to show you real time me pushing the buttons so that way you can see the audio slider up on the screen right next to it move. So hopefully you're able to see that it is controlling it directly from the stream deck. And now that we've got it set up, we can actually just go in here to these icons and change every single one of them. But honestly, if I've already done that, so I'm going to actually show you how it looks completed on my main. So this is what it's going to look like right here with all my audio sources and labeled. And it does the same functions. It moves things up and down directly in my audio mixer. So as I'm doing this, this is my voice mod one. I have everything set up the way that I want. So if, for example, you are live streaming and your viewer says, hey, you know what? That's too loud. I can't hear you over what I'm hearing. Can you adjust it? And it's just very rare that it happens, but I actually did encounter it recently with a particular game. So I had to lower the game audio. And in order to do that, I have to come here to game and then just reduce it. 
by doing this. So I wanted something that was convenient while I was on the go streaming. So I can just adjust the volume real quick. Now there is a possibility that, you know, if you're using Wavelink, if your Wavelink streaming channels are at like 100% like mine are, you may have to do some adjustments here on your Wavelink um, streaming as well. So I will be playing with that later and more than likely when I go live. So that way we have an exact way of having the audio feed through. So that way when we're in OBS, the OBS is going to be fine. Hopefully this has helped you in wanting to one, separate your audio, but two, control it directly from your stream deck with your OBS. Um, these tools are very handy and I hope that they help you out. Thanks for watching.